The main difference between a simple line chart and this one is that I want to make the highest value marked in green and the lowest value marked in red. As you can see here, the maximum value, which is around 150,000, is the salary of a business manager. So if I change this, reduce this to 70,000, the maximum value will now be the salary of the MIS analyst. And the circle moves dynamically as well. So let's dive in. The first step is to highlight the data from B2 to C9. And from the Insert tab, select a simple line chart. When you insert a line chart in Excel, generally the line chart is with angles that may be not beautiful and smooth enough. I prefer to smooth the angles of a line chart. In our case, right click anywhere on the line and select Format Data Series. From the Format Data Series pane, click on the bucket icon, Fill and Line. At the bottom, you'll see an option called Smooth Line. Check the box and you can see the line chart becomes smooth. Now we want a creative way to add another type of chart that shows the maximum and minimum points in the line. And that would be a scatter chart. In this case, I will need to do some supporting data that calculates the minimum and maximum salary for this column. So click on D2 cell and type max. Click on E2 cell and type min. Format the cells accordingly. To calculate the max and min values, I will use the if function. Click on D3 and start typing. Equal if C3 cell, which is the salary of the first profession, equals the maximum value of this range. Return the salary of the first profession. Otherwise, return zero. Enter. It returns zero, so the sales manager is not the maximum salary. Drag the result and drop it to copy the formula of the other cells. Okay, something is wrong. Do you know what is wrong with this formula? If you figured it out, it means you're focused on your learning. So what I would mistake here is that we did not fix this range when we created this formula, which is correct by the way. And we drag it down. All the selections were dragged down too. So this formula is comparing the value with this strange. It totally ignored the first value. And here it's doing the same. Totally ignored the first two values. Same here. And same here. So what we need to do is fix this amount by highlighting them and press F4. And then dragging them down. This is called an absolute reference. That way we lock the cells. Then drag them down. This will give us the correct value. Right? Now I will copy this formula from cell D3 and paste it to cell E3. Change the maximum to minimum and D3 to C3. Drag it down and this is the minimum salary, which is correct of course, the next step is to plot these two values right here in the chart. Right click on the chart and select the data option. Click the add button from the legend entries. As a series name, click on the max header. As series values, highlight the range from D3 to D9. Click OK. So now we have this line. Let's do the same steps for the minimum value. Click Add button. As series name, select the min label. As series values, highlight the range from E3 to E9. Click OK. Now, look at the horizontal category axis label. Instead of the names of the professions, we see numbers. We have to fix these. Click Edit and select the professions from B3 to B9. 
OK again. So now we have all the lines ready. Now, as we said before, we want to change the chart type for the maximum and minimum scatter chart. Right click on the chart and chart change type. Go to combo charts and then change the salary to a line chart. Also change both the max and min to a scatter chart. We don't want a secondary axis, we want to use the same axis, right? Click OK. Now we have our dots ready. This is the maximum and this is the minimum. Let's test it. Change the salary for the accountant to 50,000. Now the minimum is moving, but we have a problem. The zeros are drawn here, and I don't want that to be shown in our table. So we have to think out of the box here. We know that the zeros are numbers obviously, so the charts are drawing them, right? Excel is plotting them in this chart. What kind of values Excel doesn't plot them in a chart? The answer is the NA or not applicable or no value available. Let's edit the formula and replace zero with NA. The same for min values. Now everything's disappeared. The last step here is to add the symbol that we want. First, go to the Insert tab and from Shapes select the Oval. With the Shift press, draw a perfect circle somewhere here. Copy the circle. Change the color of the first one to green. Remove the outline. Change also this one to red and remove the outline. Select again the green circle and press Ctrl C to copy it. Click on the maximum dot in the scatter chart and press Ctrl plus V. Select now the red circle and press Ctrl C to copy it. Click on the minimum dot of the scatter chart and press Ctrl V. Delete those shapes. Let's smooth our line. Right click, Format Data Series, Fill in Line, and check the Smooth Line box. Remove the grid lines and the outline of the chart. Done! If you want to improve your charts dramatically, please check out this video tutorial, where I'll show you four advanced chart tips. I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial.